Hi, my name's Cameron. Welcome to the Ask Cameron channel. A lot of people say to me, Cameron, why have you started this channel? And the truth is that there's a lot of people here on YouTube and a lot of people around that love to give free advice. There's only one problem with most of them, and that is they don't have the experience. They haven't actually done it. And I say to a lot of my friends, wow, you had a problem in business. Where did you get your advice from? And there lies the problem. And so what I hope to do is to be able to share a lot of my experience, my advice from a position of somebody that's been there, done it, and has actually had the money to, to achieve things in life that we're all trying to do. You see, it seems to me that it's an ongoing situation of people giving advice. I had somebody come to me recently and said, Cameron, Cameron, I've got some great Bitcoin advice for you. And I said, really, how much Bitcoin do you have? Oh, I don't have any money to invest. There it is. There's a large amount of people looking at businesses, looking at Bitcoin, looking at investments, but they don't have any of their own skin in the game. They don't have any of their own money in the game. So what kind of advice are you getting from these people? And so I hope to be able to help you and the people that follow my YouTube channel to be able to say, hey, wait a minute, I've been there, I've done that. When I was 16, I left high school before the end of high school, started my first computer store, uh, TV, TV video repair, and that became a mobile phone dealership, of which I then went on to do um, selling TVs with infomercials, uh, sorry, selling computers uh, with infomercials, mobile phone deals, mobile phone companies, telecommunication businesses, then I went on to um, ex-refurbished computers, secondhand ex-government computers, uh, selling all of that type of thing on TV shopping network and uh, TV advertising and checking all these different advertising methods out. I then went from the telecommunications industry into the marketing industry and I had a load of success in the marketing, direct marketing industry. I had uh, the largest fax marketing database in Australia, direct mail, and I got fantastic results. Trial and error, but I got results. No matter what business you look at, it's about getting to your clients, it's about earning money, it's about finding the right paths. And through trial and error, I seem to have come out reasonably well. And so um, I sold my telecommunication companies, and then I went into payments and finance. And I run a number of financial companies and I can, I'm now currently the CEO of Confidia Asset Management in Switzerland. We've got payment businesses, uh, e-money institutions, which is digital money, online banks, basically without uh, actual physical branches. We've done more than 1.4 billion in revenue uh, in payments. We've also got uh, customers that come to us wanting to buy large amounts of Bitcoin, sell large amounts of Bitcoin. It's not as easy as people think it is. You need a good reputation. You need licensed businesses to be able to deal with the top, top level uh, brokers that are out there around the world. And this is something that I help a lot of people with. On top of that, I ran my back office call centers in the Philippines and we had a staff of over a hundred in the Philippines running call centers for us there. I then moved my operations to Thailand. Everyone told me not to do it, it couldn't be done, and I've successfully run uh, a great back office and call center and support center, software development, mobile app development, SEO, all of those types of things. I've got a fantastic team here in Thailand for almost 20 years now and most of the staff have been with me and have been loyal for more than 10 years. And so I've been in the hotel resort business, I've helped people set up salons, massage shops, um, smaller hotels, uh, uh, restaurants, uh, what else? There's so much there, there's a lot there, and I look forward to giving my experience and my advice in all of the upcoming videos, and I really hope that 
from my perspective, you're going to be able to see how I did it and how I made money and I made it succeed and I made it work. To this day, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you know, you want some advice, go and ask Cameron. He's been in this business. He's been investing there. He's got the money. And that's spot on the dollar. That's exactly what it's about. Don't take financial advice from people who don't have the money. Don't take uh, financial advice from people who aren't in the game. If they don't have skin in the game, they're not the people that you should be taking advice from. They don't have the necessary experience. They might have good ideas, they might be wrong, or they might be right, they might be wrong, but the reality is if their skin isn't in the game, you're not going to use that advice. And I hope that by showing my experience and my advice, I'm not a lawyer and I'm not an accountant, I'm an entrepreneur. And as an entrepreneur, I look forward to sharing that information with you. And uh, if you get value out of that, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And if you've got questions, ask me. I'll be happy to make a video and post it for you as a response. Talk to you soon.